Welcome God of War fans! My name is Shane Static, and in this God of War video, I will be discussing where I found Freya's Valkyrie wings. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy your time here, and think about subscribing so you don't miss out on any God of War content in the future. Here we go. Now, I have a confession for all of you today. I love God of War. And since you have clicked on this video, I assume you do as well. I have played through the story several times and I've loved every second of it. From Kratos and Atreus' home in Midgard, all the way to the tallest beak in all the realms in Jotunheim. But my personal favorite part of the game are the Valkyrie fights. They are so difficult, but so rewarding. And when we find out that the goddess Freya is the rightful Valkyrie queen, it blew me away. But now Freya is banished in Midgard without her wings and with no way of fighting, not even to defend herself. That has made me wonder ever since I first played the game, where are Freya's Valkyrie wings? Well, while playing through God of War again these last couple of days, I found exactly where Freya's Valkyrie wings are. Let's get into it. So let's start in God of War. As we are playing through God of War, we are told by Mimir about the Aesir and the Vanir War. Both tribes are at each other's throat and at war for years upon years. To end this war, Mimir suggests to Odin to marry his deadliest enemy to create peace throughout the realms. And Odin agreed to do just this. Odin agreed to marry Freya, the leader of the Vanir. When she was admitted into the halls of the Aesir, she was given the role of Queen of the Valkyries. But Odin, deceitful as he is, had something else in mind. Mimir had this to say. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. How did Freya end up the hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Now Odin ripped Freya of her warrior spirit, along with her Valkyrie wings. So this brought up the question, where did Odin put her wings? Where did Odin put Freya's Valkyrie wings? I have made a theory about where Freya's wings could very well be and how she could get them back. So, my theory went a little something like this. I once believed that Freya's wings were held in the halls of the Aesir just because it made sense that they would put them there. Freya can't leave Midgard because of the magic that Odin had cast on her, so he kept her wings in Asgard so she couldn't get her hands on them. Made sense to me. So that way she could never rise up against the Aesir or whatever Odin was thinking at the time. Now I did believe that until the other day when I was playing God of War again. We shoot the boar Hildesvini as Atreus and then eventually run into Freya. She has us help save the boar, which I have a theory on who it is, and the video is right here if you're interested. But as for now, on to where Freya's Valkyrie wings are. 
She led us to our house underneath Charlie, the giant turtle, so she could proceed to help Hildesfini so he didn't die. Now, I have been looking around everywhere I can to find hidden secrets that Cory Barlog and Sony Santa Monica have put into this game that are hints for future games. So at this time, I looked around Freya's house because in previous playthroughs, I really didn't. And I found her Valkyrie wings in her home! By the door that leads into her home, and the one that leads us to the cave, you can see a tarp or a rug or some type of cloth in the corner. Not that unusual, right? But if you look around the cloth, you can see a set of Valkyrie wings. They were in her house the entire time, and I had no idea! So Freya had her Valkyrie wings all along, and at the end of the game, Mimir says this. Brothers, there's another thing I must let you know from the time you were away in Jotunheim. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She paid me a visit. What did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. In September of 2020, the actress who voices Freya, Danielle Basuti, posted a tweet saying she was working on the game. Nothing really out of the ordinary, but what was out of the ordinary was the picture that she posted with the tweet. It was Danielle posing as Freya with her wings as seen here. But shortly after this tweet was posted, it was removed. Now what does this mean? I think it means that the team at Santa Monica had Danielle remove the tweet because it gave too much away from an upcoming game. I think that the photo that Danielle posted was an accidental leak showing Freya will get her wings, her warrior spirit, in the upcoming God of War game. So we know this as of right now. Freya is seeking her warrior spirit, and she already has her Valkyrie wings in her home. Will she get her warrior spirit back and use her wings again? We shall see. So what did you think of the video? Will Freya get her warrior spirit back in the next upcoming game? Did you already know where Freya's Valkyrie wings were all this time? Or is this news to you? Leave it all in the comments down below, and let's discuss it. My name is Shane Static. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.